Hey, what's up? Um, I'm gonna make a video about a movie and yap about it. Uh, and I do this from time to time. So you're gonna have to just bear with it if this is not the video you want. But uh, I saw that movie, The Substance, and I liked it a lot. It shook me, really did, as a dude that's just growing older. I know it's kind of like a feministic movie about Hollywood a little bit, but it's also just about growing older. And uh, everybody's talking about it. It's a little bit Cronenberg-ish because of all the gross body horror shit. Um, I thought a lot of the set pieces in it were actually like, like The Shining, like Kubrick. I picked up on a lot of symbolism um, regarding the sets. I lo I really did like it a lot. I don't know if I loved it because it was just way too gross. Um, and I didn't know the era that it was set in. I couldn't tell like if, if it was set in the 80s. Maybe it was set in the modern day because there were smartphones, you know? Um, but I liked that about it. You know, there's like an exercise show that the chick does and it... Uh, seems like it's set in the 80s at times um you know and uh yeah like i didn't like the gore so much because it just pushes you and pushes you i like the sound design it was pretty gross sound design it was pretty cool um i think when kind of toward the end in the third act when demi moore comes out of that bathroom looking like the old guy like Joe Biden or something. She just looks really old in the face and it like fucking, I was thinking, I was like, man, I think I'm going to look that old one day and I'm going to be, you know, disgusted with myself thinking about the past, you know, or whatever. It, it, I think everybody, uh, it shook everybody <laughs> that I was in the theater with, but here's the thing. And here's why I wanted to make a movie about it. Two minutes in, I'm yapping. Um, that whole film reminded me of Tales from the Crypt because I've seen a shit ton. Of, I've seen probably like every Tales from the Crypt episode because I used to really like that show when I was a kid and then I followed up on it when I was older and they're all online. And uh, I'm going to pull this up because I didn't take really notes on it um, or I tried to here, but I couldn't figure out what episodes it reminded me of specifically. And then I kind of like in my mind collected them and here's what it reminded me of. I'm gonna start with this episode from the first season and it's called Only Sin Deep. It's from 1989 and it's got Leah Thompson starring in it. And she was from Back to the Future. She played the mom. She's a really pretty woman. And um, the plot of that is also about a woman losing her beauty and Leah Thompson plays this con woman. I didn't actually rewatch it. I saw it probably like 12, 13 years ago is the last time I saw this episode. But it's like, she goes to, she tries to pawn some jewelry at this fucking pawn shop. And this guy takes like a voodoo mask of her face. And um, basically her beauty depletes. She's trying to con this rich guy is what the episode's all about. I'm not doing, I'm not explaining it very well. But specifically that third act of the substance where Demi Moore is running around with the veil over her face and the big hat that's like lifted pretty pretty much that's in this episode like there's definitely some of that going on and then um I'm pretty sure if I rewatched the episode I would notice some more um parallels but uh you know it's about a woman losing her face losing her beauty aging and then she wants to like renege on the deal with the pawn shop guy after it's too late. And um, that's very similar to the substance. It's like she she becomes old and decrepit and she wants to change everything, but it's just too late. She's lost her own looks. Then there's this other episode it reminded me of, and uh, it's called Beauty Rest. And it's from season four. And it's got Mimi Rogers in it. And it's it was a cool episode because it's like, it's about this woman who I think she's like a model and she's trying to get ahead and she's got this roommate that she's competitive with and she poisons her roommate to get this modeling gig or something. And, uh, the modeling gig ends up being this like really dark fucked up beauty show and they end up 
like um, dragging her into a back room and like pumping her full of like embalming fluid and like cutting her open and shit and uh, wheeling her out to all of these like on looking guys in suits and shit, judging her cut open body and whatever. I'm not explaining the whole thing very well, but the point is beauty rest. It was a good episode. It had Mimi Rogers and that final shot in uh, the substance where the big monster bitch is walking out on the stage and the tit falls out and there's all this fucking blood and she's like spewing blood on people. It was a little reminiscent of this to me. It's like they wheel out this monster and it's like, you got what you wanted. You got your fucking looks back, but you couldn't get it back. It was, you just got your vanity pushed to the full extent of it. And um, that was the other episode of mine, a good episode. And then the other one is a little more obvious. It's an episode from season two called The Switch, which aired in 1990. And I'm reading this shit, obviously. But uh, that one had, uh, it was about an old guy, I didn't, I didn't rewatch any of these, by the way, but the switch was about an old guy trying to look like a young guy to seduce a woman. And he went to this like surgeon and did it like limb by limb, you know, part of his body, his face and his arms and his legs. And by the time he actually had all of his body parts replaced with the young guy's body parts, the woman he was trying to seduce, uh, starts dating the guy that got all his body, his old body parts, because now he has all this money, because he paid all this money, whatever. But it's a cool story. And that one had uh, this old guy, William Hickey. He's dead now, but uh, William Hickey plays uh, the old dude in this episode that wants to uh, trade his body parts. And I used to see William Hickey, when I was really young, I liked that movie Puppet Master, because it had cool puppets and toys and shit. And I liked looking at that stuff. And that guy, William Hickey, played the uh, the creator of the puppets. And he's been in a bunch of movies and shit. But every time I see him, I think he I look like him. Like in the face. Because he's like really old, but he's got like a like a big fucking face. And uh, yeah, I always, I hope I look like that dude when I'm like 90. But um Anyway, bro, that's that's the reason I wanted to make this because I've been seeing like everybody's all oh, the fucking substance is so crazy. And it, it is like Cronenberg and The Fly and all this other shit. But I think another thing is like this chick that directed it for sure saw all these episodes and for sure loves Tales from the Crypt. Whoever was in on this for sure loves all these episodes because these stories have been told before. They just haven't been like delivered to the audience in a way that's as crazy as the substance did it with all the fucking gross syringes going into the spine and all that shit um so yeah bro um if there's any and another thing too if you're like some weird tells from the crypt fan and you found this video and i missed one just say it just tell me because i do want to know i think there's some other ones all right so having said that peace out have a good day